Hi everyone, it's Nicole with Singa and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a registered dietitian that focuses a lot on meal prepping and plant-focused eating. So for today's meal prep, I'm going to be using the theme of healthy convenience foods to put together today's meal prep. So when I say healthy convenience foods, it might seem like a bit of an oxymoron, you know, how can convenience foods be nutritious? They totally can. So I'm going to show you what I used to actually, you know, create this meal prep in an hour or an hour and a half, ranging from pre-chopped veggies, uh, pre-made salads, a bean salad, etc. So. Stay tuned and like and subscribe if you'd like this kind of content and grab the full recipes on my website, nicolazinga.com. All right, let's dive into the recipes. All right, so the first recipe we're gonna be putting together is this edamame pesto pasta, which is one of my favorites. So edamame is the convenience food I am using. It's high in protein, which I love, and high in fiber. Um, I mean, sodium five milligrams, not a big deal at all. Um, so I'm just gonna thaw this before putting that into the pasta. I'm also gonna be using this pesto, which is just delicious, simply, and another convenience food I like to use. Um, so basically, I'm just cooking the pasta according to the directions on the box. I'm dividing that up. I, I sliced some cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, and I'm throwing them in there as well. And then I'm going to be adding the edamame. Again, once I thawed it, you can put it in the microwave as well or boil it. There's so many ways to prepare edamame. And then I'm just mixing in some of that delicious pesto, and there it is. This has got to be one of the easiest recipes I've made so far, and it is super tasty and nutritious, which are both bonuses as well. The next recipe we're going to make is this tofu stir fry. So I found this awesome tofu, or sorry, I, I found this awesome stir fry kit actually at the store. I've never seen it before. It's by Taylor Farms. It's, this is not sponsored. I just thought this was a really cool product. Um, it looked great. The only thing is that it was a little bit high in sodium and that's just the teriyaki sauce that it came with. So what I ended up do, doing is I watered it down and I only used a little bit of it. So I'm starting with putting some avocado oil on a pan and then I'm just dumping the veggies in and this is over medium heat I just sauteed that for about seven minutes I believe and then it came with noodles so I added the noodles in and I added a, a little bit of the teriyaki sauce at a time like I said I watered it down a little bit I didn't end up using the whole thing either so reducing the sodium and plus I don't feel like it's that saucy of a product and the next thing I'm doing is preparing the tofu. So I already pressed the tofu for, for about 15 minutes or so. So I'm just, what I'm doing here is I'm mixing together some cornstarch with avocado oil um, and I toss the tofu in it. And I put it in the air fryer for about 13 minutes at 390. You can also pan fry the tofu as well. If you don't have an air fryer, I probably would have done that if I didn't have my air fryer handy. Um, but either way, uh, you will get a nice and crispy tofu product that's perfect, perfect for the stir fry. The next recipe I'm going to be making are these bean salads. I love this product. So basically I'm just doing baby spinach, a chopped salad kit, and some bean salads. I have a three lentil and cranberry salad, and I also have this chickpea. I think it was a Moroccan chickpea salad mixture I found at the store. And look how beautiful they look. They're so simple. I just combined those things. Awesome. And they're very tasty. And then the next recipe I'm going to be making is this root veggie stew. This one was definitely a favorite. So I just had some root veggies I picked up from the store that were already sort of pre-prepared and I roasted them in the oven for about 30, 35 minutes at 400. And I added some avocado oil on top. And then meanwhile, I have some kidney beans with no salt added, which is why I love them. Um, and the canned beans are another convenience food as well. Take a look at that. Again, another high in protein product. Um, there's a good amount of iron and fiber in there too. And these crushed tomatoes are another good convenience product as well. So I just combine the crushed tomatoes along with the um, some spinach as well. Actually, it's another convenience product I am using, some frozen spinach. It's a big chunk of spinach, but I'm just putting it in the saucepan and just getting it to melt. And I added those white beans that were drained. Um, so that's, this is what it created. And then I am adding those root veggies once they've roasted in the oven for 30, 35 minutes. 
And I'm just combining everything, just letting it simmer for about five minutes or so just for the flavors to combine. And oh my goodness, this is such a tasty stew. And I find soups and stews sometimes intimidating to make because there's so many steps and products, but no, this one was super easy. So I'm just dividing them into portions here. Um, such a hearty product, I loved it. And then that's what it looks like. There you go. So in summary, I have the stew that I made and this meal prep only took me an hour and a half, which is amazing. And then the different salads that I used um, with the various bean salads that I topped them with, again, spinach was the base for them. And then I used the teriyaki vegetable stir fry kit and some crispy tofu for that dish. And then the pesto edamame pasta, which is just amazing and so simple. And then of course we have to have breakfast. So I have my overnight oats and I also made a baked oatmeal, which I'm gonna be posting a separate video for. You'll have definitely have to check that one out. All right, well, thank you so much everyone for joining in to watch my healthy convenience foods meal prep. So again, like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this kind of content and head on over to my website, nicolasinga.com to grab the full recipes. All right, thanks so much everyone, have a great day.